Hey, today I want to share with you three counterintuitive ways you can heal from narcissistic abuse. The first one is to regulate your nervous system. So my favorite ways for doing this are tapping, breathing, exercise, or being out in nature. Regulating your nervous system is key to healing from the trauma of narcissistic abuse. And it's something you have complete control over because you are in your body and your body is how you heal your nervous system. So something as simple as box breathing, where you breathe in for four, hold it for four, breathe out for four, and hold it for four, instantly starts to regulate your nervous system. Check out the links in the description box below for other tips and tricks on how to regulate your nervous system, or just go search around. Find what fits for you and what is feeling good and working in the moment. This approach is one of the most effective ways. It doesn't cost anything and you can do it at any time. The second way to heal from the trauma of narcissistic abuse is by releasing the inner traumas. So the thing about it is, is when the narcissist does whatever they do, it has a huge impact on you. And that's partly because of what they've done, but it's also partly because of traumas that you're holding in your body and in your field from your past and maybe even past lives. So find a modality that works for you, either some guided meditations or some healings. What I do for my own self is I just notice the feeling in my body, really pay attention to it and give it some space. And then I invite it to leave my body and I imagine it just leaving and going out into space and I send it way far away from my body. And then I bring in some light. I just visualize light entering my body and replacing that spot that used to have a trauma in it. Getting rid of the traumas in your body, make it so that when the narcissist does whatever they do, it bothers you this much instead of this much. And eventually it won't bother you at all. And at that point they start leaving you alone because they're not getting narcissistic supply anymore. The third way to heal from narcissistic abuse is to actually feel the feelings in your body and allow them to be there and move through. Everything about our society and the way we were raised tells us to push our feelings away or distract ourselves from them. So this is a counterintuitive move, but it's highly effective. It takes some time and a little bit of courage, but once you get the hang of it, you recognize that these feelings aren't going to destroy you. They're not gonna take you out. You're just gonna feel them. They're gonna come up like a wave and then they're gonna go down and you're gonna be free. You will have cleared that piece. So it's just taking a moment to breathe. Oh, I'm feeling really scared right now. Instead of doing some distracting thing like checking my phone or talking to somebody or doing some work or eating something, whatever, I'm gonna actually just feel the fear in my body and be with it. That alone starts to dissolve it. So the three counterintuitive ways to heal from narcissistic abuse are regulate your nervous system, use some tapping or some breathing techniques to start to get yourself out of fight or flight and get into the state of rest and relax. The second way is to release your inner traumas. Find a guided meditation or some type of energy tool that gets the traumas that are lodged in your system up and out of your body. Replace it with light. Start to get free. And the third way is to feel the emotions in your body. Let them move through you. And in this way, they start to dissipate. I hope this information helped you. If it did, please subscribe to my channel. It helps so much. It's free for you to do. And of course, share this with people that you think it will help. And thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Take good care.